Warning, this video contains scenes of animals being dispatched in the UK using legal limit air rifles. Do not watch if you may be offended. Go and watch Charlie Bit My Finger instead. Evening again everybody. Assuming it's evening when you're watching this. If not, then good morning or whatever. It's Tuesday the 28th of May 2019. I'm just out tonight on my rabbit for mission with a new toy which is the Impact Mark II also in 2.2 calibre same as the Mark I uh, that's gone into retirement with a lovely gentleman called Andy who uh, helped me get my dream line so uh, I know it'll be a be well looked after with him but now we're on the mark two i put the laminate woodwork set and the effective shroud transferred that over um, but now we've got the new side shot magazine system 28 rounds in 2-2 i know a lot of you have had the 177 haven't had the magazine because there is a shortage of them but the two two ones are shipping with them Apparently the 177 ones are coming in June, um, but that's FX's June, which as we all know is probably about October. Um, but all the best with it. At least you're getting a free 21 shot mag, I suppose. Okay, we've got the Excite 4K on tonight as well. Um, I'll say tonight, it's the evening and it's not gonna get dark for another probably three and a half hours. So, you may not need the night vision depending on how we go. It's just absolutely thrown it down here. And I mean thrown it down. And now the sun's high in the sky. Blue clouds, blue clouds, blue sky, white clouds. Um, but on the horizon, it's pretty black still. So, I'm not sure what's going to happen. I might have to dive for cover, so I'm not going to move far from the car. So I'm going to be shooting along this fence line. And there's three warrens. One there with those four trees, one in front, and one to the side with those four trees that are being slowly excavated. So they've asked me to uh, concentrate on this bit. So I'm going to get set up on the bipod. Just need to get the gun zeroed, which hopefully shouldn't be far off because it was zeroed to the old gun using the Hades, which we're using again tonight. And 2-2 calibre. And then we'll see how we go on. See if we can bag anything. Okay, see you soon. Okay, just gonna share a little tip with you I've found. If you're like me, an idiot, and what you do is occasionally drop in a pellet the wrong way around in the side shot mag you don't want to tip out 27 other pellets to get it out if you put the cover over and index it so it's over the one you want that's the wrong way around you can tip it out without all the others falling out and there we go almost idiot proof i think you'll agree yeah Not bad. Look at this guy. Brazen as you like. Ignore the range on the X site. He's actually about 29 yards away. Absolutely perfect distance. But we're not here for him, we're here for the rabbits. That's why we're in this trouble in the first place. Because some people before would have taken him. Okay, I didn't have to wait too long. Um, this one came out in the warren directly in front of me. See, it's about quarter to eight. Quite a straightforward shot. 
32 yards. Down she went. And that was that. Okay, next one's at 37 yards. Uh, just hoping to feed the pellet through the fence. Because I'm normally pretty good at shooting fences. And that got through okay. And it was out like a light. Okay, next one's uh, there's a bit of movement around and I'm just wondering what's going on, where they're going to come up. There's one, and then there's another over to the left. You can still my scope still set for 30 yards, um, so I'm not going to take it because it's a bit further away. Uh, that, was a, that one's about 35, 36 where it was. I'm just waiting to see if any of them come underneath and get a bit closer. That's what one looks like it's going to oblige. So we'll just wait for him to come up in front. And then we'll have it. And there he comes, and there he goes. But, as luck would have it, talk about being in the wrong place at the wrong time. And that's the end of him. And the others are scarpered. So it was a it was a funny night. It was like that where you just get two or three out in one go, shoot one, the others would duck under, give it twenty minutes, two or three would pop out again, and then carry on. As you can see, two young ones out here, forty-four yards, which is about the limit of what I like to shoot at. Uh, I won't go much further than that, if anything, really, to be honest. I'll shoot 50, 60 yard paper targets, but I'm, I'm not going to shoot any further than that, really, on live animals. Um, sub 12. It's, it's asking a bit too much of it, really. Okay, so I'm fed up with watching the one on the left, so I'll take the one on the right that's sitting still. It bounces around a little bit, but it's lights out. Young ones do tend to bounce a lot more than the older ones, but the result's still the same. Okay, so I'm pinging the target now because that's the scope still set to 44 yards. So I pinged it, now it's 36 yards away. You can see it changing in the bottom right hand corner. And then back of the head, and it's down. And once again, the other two have scarpered. The young ones don't seem to stay under for long. They just sort of run and wait, and then decide to come back out. Okay, well, we're born to shoot, but we're forced to work. So the job dictates I've got to get up at 5.30 next morning. So at half past nine, I had to call it a night. This is me, Gorilla in the Mist picking up the rabbits. There's uh, two on the other side of the fence I couldn't reach without going round, which I did afterwards. Uh, I'm pleased with the Mark II impact tonight. Shot really well with the Hades. Five's not bad for a first outing. Okay, that's three recovered. Look at the fleas. Oh yeah, summertime. Lots and lots. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe and share. See you next time.